The team of the year panic selling has definitely started on the market and in this video of course we're going to be giving an update on the team of the year market crash, what has currently happened today on the market, a lot more people have started to sell their teams and also that is mixed in with normal weekend league Sunday sell off. So we're going to be taking a look at that, what has happened today on the market, which cards have dropped by the most percentages and also what's going to be happening in the next few days and overall when it's going to be the best time to buy your cards buy your whole team after of course you have sold it hopefully maybe some of you guys have sold ages ago weeks ago or maybe only a few days ago we're going to be talking about what's the best move now so getting straight into this video now we do know that a lot of people are now talking about the team of the year market crash and that is because the headliners promo has pretty much finished all eyes are just on team of the year and the hype now is really starting to build up it's only going to take one small thing possibly on monday that I am expecting, or maybe on Tuesday at least, voting should actually be ending Tuesday morning around 8 a.m. UK time. So that does actually mean that we probably aren't going to be getting the Team of the Year promo starting, of course, on Monday the 18th. How could we possibly get that if voting hasn't even finished yet? But I know a lot of you guys do already know that. There's just a few people that are still not in the know, but hopefully this video will clear that up a little bit. But I think on Monday, we could still get something. Hopefully it's not going to be another day of content we are hoping that there is going to be some sort of content and maybe that could be an icon SBC a mid icon SBC repeatable or a base icon something in there again just to make that last coin drain before team of the year try and take all of our coins that esports can do and then come team of the year hopefully they are hoping that we are going to be buying FIFA points and opening packs to recover those coins up but we know that is not the solution we're going to try earn coins from trading and be smart with our coins we don't just want to do every single SBC that does get released but of course what is going to be happening on Monday possibly something like an SBC like that I think that could cause panic selling maybe that could be a potential buy time or we could also get on Tuesday I think possibly when voting is going to be ending in the morning later on in the evening 6 p.m UK time maybe a loading screen and that first initial loading screen could just be team of the year writing and maybe it doesn't even say team of the year it's just going to be sort of the assets the sort of the background all of those sort of brushes that sort of thing and then Wednesday is going to announce team of the year with the countdown something like that I am hoping that we are going to be getting and I do think you need to buy before everyone else is going to be buying there is going to be a huge wave of when everyone is going to start buying their cards and you do need to be just before that that is going to be the best time to buy but it's nearly impossible to call no one can predict exactly when the market is going to be at its lowest point it's based on loads of different variables and mostly on what the community is doing when the community how the general atmosphere the hype the feeling what everyone is saying are they going to be selling at this point are they going to be buying so around now currently we did see cards like Neymar he was 700,000 coins on Friday and he did hit around 650k that was his lowest point today on Sunday so we do expect more selling for sure but that was mainly just a little bit of weekend league sell-off with some team of the year selling added in there but we are going to see when maybe a patron announces to their, all of their members that this is the day that you have to sell possibly on Monday, something like that, or there's just going to be general panic caused by something, that is when we are looking to buy. And of course, we do not know when that is going to be happening. And it is heavily reliant as well on EA Sports, what they are going to be doing, a loading screen, an icon SBC, whatever they are going to be doing, it's always in their hands and we're in their ball game. So it's very hard to predict what is going to be happening. But I would say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, those are the times that you do want to be looking out to buy your team and it is going to be full of those variables that we did already describe but from today on Sunday with no knowledge of what is going to be happening on those days we don't know what's going to happen on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday I would say that Tuesday is going to be a pretty safe day it's in the middle of it all and of course Wednesday there might still be some investing for Thursday flipping but again that's going to be heavily reliant very very heavily reliant on what the current mood is and how the patrons are discussing what they are all saying and we can kind of get the general feel of that when we are closer when we're actually recording the video on monday evening tuesday evening and we actually know what happened on that day so we're going to make further update videos on that so maybe monday tuesday wednesday that could potentially be a good buy time remember it does have to be before the wave of everyone buying that is very very key 
or you do also have a second option. You could try and wait for the first hour or so of the promo. When the Team of the Year promo is going to be starting, everyone is going to be opening up their saved packs. With all of these lightning rounds as well, so many FIFA points are going to be just packed open. So you can try and wait for that. All of the golds that are currently in packs are going to be crashing a lot, but you do need to remember that those players that are going to get a Team of the Year card, their golds will not be available in packs. So their golds won't necessarily be going down in price sometimes and most of the time they do actually go up in price so for example CR7 if you are planning to get Cristiano Ronaldo his gold card then definitely you do want to make sure that you are going to be picking him up Monday Tuesday Wednesday and probably want to do it as early as possible still trying to feel when the lowest point is going to be but as the more days go by people are going to start realizing that if he does get a team of the year which is very likely for Cristiano Ronaldo his gold card is going to be going up in price because it is going to be out of packs all of the supply is going to be cut and because the team of the year is going to be extremely expensive six seven million coins no one's going to be able to afford that if you want to play with Ronaldo in weekend league you are going to have to buy his gold card so his gold card is going to go up in price and you can compare this with other golds as well that could potentially be in team of the year maybe an Mbappe maybe a Neymar but are they going to get a team of the year or not possibly in the 12th man especially with these golds make sure you are extremely careful buy them first buy that Cristiano Ronaldo first on that Monday or Tuesday and then later on worry about your gold Rashford or gold Ferland Mendy they are going to be in packs so you can buy them on Friday in that first hour of lightning rounds and people opening their saved packs we will be making daily update videos on this on Monday will be our next team of the year market crash video so definitely stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Time.